I'll ride that last train to heaven on rails of solid gold. In a box car line with satin, clear the nights are never cold. Where a hobo is always welcome, even in his ragged clothes. I'll ride that last train to heaven when the final whistle blows. Well, I've sat in hobo jungles from Maine to New Orleans. I've heard old timers tell the tale of a train they hope to see. There'll be a long black steamer that shines just like the sun with a thousand miles of boxcar behind engine number one. I'll ride that last train to heaven on rails of solid gold in a boxcar lined with satin. Clear the nights are never cold Where a hobo is always welcome Even in his ragged holes I'll ride that last train to heaven When the final whistle blows All the hobos will be waiting No more sleeping on the ground With his hand upon the throttle There'll be no putting down this ride is just for hobos, they'll come from all around. When the train gets down on her last run, destination heaven bound. I'll ride that last train to heaven on rails of solid gold. In a boxcar line with satin, where the nights are never cold. Where the hobos always welcome, even in his baggy clothes. I'll ride that last train to heaven. I'll ride that last train to heaven when the final whistle blows. So it's a mighty lonesome call As we ride the bars and the empty cars On the Wabash Cannonball From the waves of the Atlantic To the wild Pacific shore From the coast of California To snowbound Labrador There's a train of fancy layout That's well known to us all It's the hobo's home when he wants to roll It's the Wabash Cannonball now listen to her rumble, now listen to her roar As she echoes down the valley and flies along the shore Now hear the engines whistle, it's a mighty lonesome call As they ride the bars and the empty cars of the Wabash Cannonball There's lots of places, partner, that you can City, Des Moines and Kankakee The lakes of Minnehaha Where the laughing waters fall We reach them by no other land The Wabash Cannonball Now listen to her rumble Now listen to her roar As she echoes down the valley And flies along the shore Now hear the engines whistle It's a mighty lonesome call As we ride the bars and the empty cars On the Wabash I've always been well treated though I took the whole ride And when my days are over and the curtain 
They gave him his orders at Monroe, Virginia, saying, Steve, you're away behind time. This is not 38, but it's old 97. You must put her in Spencer on time. He looked round and said to his black greasy fireman, just shove a little, little more coal. And when we cross that white oak mountain, you can watch old 97 roll. He was going down gray, making 90 miles an hour when his whistle began to scream. He was found in the wreck with his hand on the throttle and was called it to death with steam. It's a muddy rough road from Lynchburg to Danville and a light on a three-mile gray. It was on this grave that he lost his air brakes and you see what a jump he made. He was going down gray, making 90 miles an hour when his whistle began to scream. He was found in the wreck with his hand on the throttle and was called it to death with steam. So come on, you ladies, you must take warning from this time on and learn. Never speak harsh words to your true loving husband. He may leave you and never Um, it was Pennsylvania Railroad, and it's in the Pennsylvania Railroad colors now, but if you look on the steps and everything, you'll see blue. You'll see Conrail blue underneath, because in between... It arrived, on, it arrived here in Conrail blue. Conrail blue, yeah. Well, that's Conrail all yours. Conrail blue, and then it was uh, okay. converted yep. over. Okay. It's going between Altoona and Pittsburgh, so it, it was used in, uh, in the mountains, so it uh, has another option, uh, which is the dynamic brake, which is regenerative type braking. Except it didn't regenerate then, and it just exhausted his heat. So that would be, this is disabled, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Well, when you put the dynamic brake on, you would put it on when it was going downhill, maybe between 15 and 35 miles an hour. If you did before that, it wouldn't get, give you much. And you beyond 15, it wasn't really going to stop it the rest of the way. So that's when you would do it. You would put it into, you would put it, the, the gear into neutral. You'd put this into idle. You'd move this into the, the dynamic. And once you move it to the dynamic, then you, you still use your throttle, but the throttle now has a rheostat. It doesn't have the notches anymore. So that's how you knew also you were in, uh, you were in uh, a dynamic break. Uh, you already moved this. Yeah. I'm trying to tell on this, first of all, it's very hard to move. The guys around these have huge muscles in their arms. They have to do this day in and day out. I, day. I have huge muscles. If yeah, they get even bigger, you were pulling this all right. Yeah. Anyway. I told you there were different taps. Okay, about what he's moving is about the distance of one tap. So there's maybe six intervals in there where you're changing taps. But however, electrically, you're changing it every notch. You're using those resistors that we have in the front, which we'll show you on the way out later. It was fine control. So when you're pulling that throttle, every notch is a different electrical configuration. They're all just slightly different than the previous one, so it's a very smooth operation of accelerating or decelerating. The other thing on this is if we put the throttle all the way down, this is dynamic brake. Again, I'm not sure this engine really needed dynamic brake to range it up.
can break. This is the brake rack that goes with the red handle over there, the train brake. You normally don't see this in vehicles, it's usually on the hood. That's how you can see it. Mm -hmm.
Oh, rolling pass, rolling pass. You ain't stopping.
Oh, you know what? I think he's got a. Uh, it bye bye. Hey, let me clear. Bye bye. What'd you do? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, to get a yeah, shot. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, scepter go by. Scepter go by, bro. Yeah, come on. Here, give me. Out the way. What? The train is gone! <laughs> you got a bug in your teeth. A bug? I think you got a tick in your gums. Grr. Bark, bark, bark. bark. <laughs> a tick? Yeah, uh, yeah ticks, ticks in your balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens all the time. Maybe you just had a tick in the balls. Scepter, I said, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just take I just rip it off.